guys, I am back with another hair tutorial and today I'm going to be dyeing my hair like this unicorn pastel ombre and once again I'm so nervous because I've never done this before but I'm all about trying new things so we're going to try new things here and hopefully it turns out just the way I expect it to. Okay, so I want to dye my hair this rainbow unicorn because of a few reasons. One, because my hair is already like this green color so I figured perfect like we can just dye over it and it'll you know you don't need to add the green in so it's already there and also because I have all this extra dye from all my other videos I literally have like all of these from like the past year year and a half of dyeing my hair and they're just literally sitting in my drawer so might as well recycle them and do something with them so that's the second reason why I'm dyeing my hair this like unicorn color. And then lastly, I'm going to Coachella. So of course I want it to be, you know, festival-y. I just really want to mostly what up myself from last year. I did an all over pink, I did braids, and then I did little fun buns. It was really cool because that was my first time dyeing my hair, but I kind of want to like go all out this year. So we're gonna do something really funky and I have a picture in mind. I have an idea in mind. So when I had this idea of retouching up my colored hair from my last hair dye, this was blue. And if you guys look really closely, it's actually not green. My hair looks green on artificial lighting right now, but it's actually blue. Like this is actually like very, very, very faint, like cloud blue. But with the blonde and with the fading, it looks like an overall green. So I really wanted to color over this. I was looking up pictures online of like unicorn hair, rainbow hair, and I don't really want to look like a clown. I don't think anyone wants to look super, super funky, at least not for this look. Um, unicorn is usually like pinks and purples and glitter and that kind of stuff. And that's what I'm trying to do with this look. So if you guys are down with that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so also back to what I'm saying about looking up um, pictures online. I was like kind of losing hope. I'm like, this is way too funky. And I'm just like, this is way out of my element. I kind of want to stay with like the pastel colors, like pinks and purples and then the, and, like the green color. Like, so I remembered that Kylie Jenner actually did this look like a few years ago, whatever it was at Coachella. And I'm like, oh, that'd be perfect. And it, it might have been a wig, probably was a wig, but we have the colored hair already so we're good we're gonna try to use that as our base example but we're not gonna try to do it exactly because i know she does have yellow in it too and i almost got this color from l'oreal colorista the yellow i guess i should just put it right here but i didn't feel like wasting all that dye so if you guys watch my last video there's a few steps to dyeing your hair no matter what color it is you're gonna want to start with clean hair so i just took a shower and it's still kind of wet it's like damp and you want to make sure it's completely dry just so the dye has something to like go on to. You don't want it to just like go on and then like wash off, I guess. Am I making sense? <laughs> so you're going to wash your hair and blow dry it. So I'm going to finish blow drying it so it's nice and um, dry. Okay, my hair is all dried. Once again, it's really poofy and thick. So no parts this time. We are just going to start from the outside, basically from up here and work our way down. All right, so even though we want the colors to blend into each other, we don't want them to bleed into each other, if that makes sense. We don't want it to be a giant like melt, I guess. You don't want the colors to just like all go into each other. You do wanna see, you know, like this is pink, this is purple, this is blue, this is orange or whatever, you know what I mean? So we are going to be using separate gloves and the reason why I have so many is because each box of dye so like say like this one this came with like three sets of gloves and then I have of course all my other colors so I've just been saving these They've, these have just been like sitting in my drawer so we're gonna be using um, a new pair of gloves for every color um, and if you guys don't have gloves that's fine you guys can just use your hands and just make sure you rinse them every color simple as that all right, so we are going to be starting with pink. This shade is hashtag hot pink 350 from L'Oreal Colorista. And you can get these things at Ulta or Target. So we're just gonna start by taking a little bit of, oh, this is so red. I remember this one was from Halloween. I was doing Cosmo and Wanda. That's another video that I filmed and I didn't upload, but I will be uploading that if you guys want to see that. Yes or no, leave a comment. I don't know. But I did that last Halloween, um, October of 2018. So if you guys want to see my transformation to Wanda, you guys can see that. All right, I'm so nervous right now, but here we go. I hope this color shows up on my green hair. 
I'm still deciding right now in my head if I want my front pieces, the opening pieces, to be pink or purple. Um, I think I'm just going to end up doing them pink because I don't want half pink, half purple bang like this guy right here. So, ugh. There's only like half left in this bottle too, so I'm kind of nervous. This kind of looks cool already. You know what? Actually, I think I might do lavender right here as the openers. All right, it's, excuse me, it is decided. I'm gonna be doing lavender right here as the opening pieces. And we're gonna bring that lavender right here. So when we curl it, we're gonna have those opening pieces um, purple. All right, now we're gonna clip it just so we can get in between this, but we're not bringing it down. So I'm gonna take a little layer and clip it. And right here, so we still need a dye, just right here. So just like that, right there. And now clip the other side. I think I am done with the first layer, which was pink. I tried to sift through the pieces to see if there's any like green left to dye over and it looks like we're okay. There's like pieces like this, but then I don't know, like it's not super serious. I feel like they're gonna melt, especially in the shower when I squeeze out, like when I wring out the hair. So I'm not too concerned. The only thing I'm concerned about is getting pink in the front pieces. So I'm just kind of combing my hair. Like, kind of like when you like wash your hair in the shower, you just like scrub your scalp. Just making sure that no piece is left behind. And that it's even. Does it look even, you guys? Okay, moving on to the next color. We're gonna be switching gloves because we don't want to cross contaminate too much. So, this is done. We got a fresh pair of gloves. We're retiring this one. And we're moving on to hashtag purple400. This was actually one of my favorite colors I did. Um, I did this one for 4th of July. Um, I went to Newport for 4th of July and I was just like, I'm gonna dye my hair purple. Oh, such a beauty. I forgot, this one is really pastel-y. So it looks really dark on right here, but it's actually really like light. So I don't know how it's gonna work with a hot pink with like a pastel purple, but we'll, we'll see. I want the majority of my hair to be purple just because I love this color so much so that's what we're gonna do and before we run out of dye if we do I'm gonna be doing my front pieces right now Running out of dye. Now we're doing the other side parted. And as you guys can see, like there's only a little bit of pink here. So I'm really gonna fill in like this gap right here. Like it's kind of like right where my chin is. So I think I'm gonna just do this whole section purple. That took a long time, oh my gosh. Now, we are going to be doing denim blue. This is like one of my favorite colors ever. This is blue 600. And then we're going to follow it up with this, if there's room, it doesn't look like there's much room. So we're gonna do this color, then this color, and then obviously leave out the bottom just because it's green. So we're gonna start with this one. We're about halfway done with the head, two more colors, and then we're done. Oh, there we go. 
This is the one that also looks like purple too. But it's not. That blend though, that looks so pretty. Why did I just close that? Do you see what I just did? I do that with shampoo in the shower. I'll like take some, lather it up, put it in my hair, then need some more. And I'm like, why did I just close this? Like, do you ever just do like mindless things sometimes? I'm just gonna leave it until I'm done with blue. Whoa, look at all this freaking hair I found. Wait, did I not clear this purple? I don't remember. It's gonna be blue today. I'm getting really hungry doing this. If you guys are eating while watching this video, please tell me what you guys are eating. I'm just so hungry right now. I am a freaking mermaid. This is my hair dyeing shirt. Like I literally took my school shirt, go devils, and flipped it inside out. And I always dye my hair in it. And my spray tan shirt too. I think I got like two spray tans in the shirt. It's just so convenient. It's just a big oversized t-shirt. Like, all right, all right. We have just this little part left to do. And if anything, I could just leave it like this and add a little bit more blue. But I kind of want to use this one just because I've never seen it by itself. My last video. I did both of these combined together, so it's gonna be interesting to see what just this color looks like. I'm actually really nervous because on the box, this one did actually say that it will turn green. Um, there's like a little warning for both of these actually, which is, hello, why well, my hair is this. It's not green, but it's green in certain lighting. This one is like denim blue. This is the one, this is the color that should be this color, if that makes sense. Like this looks like it goes together, but it's not, this is like turquoise. And I feel like this is the, like the funnest part of like the ombre is the turquoise. And I don't even know how low I should bring this. I feel like it should just be a little bit. All right, you guys, I think we are done here. Um, I'm so tempted to just finish it and just do blue, but I want the color to pop at the end since it's a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. I feel like I could just like blow glitter, like, Okay, and we're done. Now we wait about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go in the shower and rinse it off. We're not gonna use any shampoo, any conditioner. You guys know the drill if you guys saw the last video. Or if you guys have done this before, you don't wash it. Um, I mean, you can, but it's just gonna fade faster. So I would just recommend um, rinsing it with water. Mm. You guys, I am the sauce queen. Like, everywhere I go, I always ask for like extra sauce, no matter what it is, or dressing. Like if I get a Caesar salad or something, like, can I get a side of Caesar? But like, it's already on it. No, I know. Can I get a side? Like, am I wrong for doing that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so it's been 30 minutes and now I'm going to rinse this out with no shampoo and no conditioner, just some warm water. And I'm probably gonna bring it out maybe like two or three times, nothing too crazy. We don't want this color to fade. I mean, we want it to fade a little bit, but we don't want to take the color out. So no shampoo, no conditioner, and a quick rinse. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here she is. All nice and dried and straightened. Ooh, and she's so vibrant right now. And it looked like in the shower that this was all blue, but now that I dried it and straightened it, it's kind of like still green. So I'm really glad but it's really, really vibrant and dark. Um, this is also artificial lighting too, so when I go outside, hopefully it's a little bit lighter. All right, you guys, so I went outside to get natural lighting and this is the finished product with my hair straightened. I was gonna wave it out as usual, well, this wind, um, but I figured like straight hair would be prettier and then you could do like little boho braids or um, big braids, whatever you want with it. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a galaxy themed too. I don't know, I'm just calling it unicorn, galaxy, fairy, pixie. I don't really know what this look is called. I just know I'm gonna rock it at Coachella and I hope you guys like the look. I kinda wanna show you the bottom too. 
So the green actually did stay and I was really happy about it. So the top's really, really magenta-y, which I kind of like because when it fades, it'll fade to like baby doll pink and then like rose gold and then like that peachy color. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm really careful. Um, but yeah, this is the final look and I'm trying to take thumbnail pictures right now and so many people are like, like, what is she doing? I'm sorry, it's 2019. People take pictures, like, it's normal, right? If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, because I do these videos pretty much all the time. And I love playing with new looks and trying new things. And if you guys have any creative ideas, throw them my way. Or if you guys have any content for me to see, link it below, link it below. I mean, <laughs> just leave your comment below and I'll go follow you, subscribe to you, watch it, because I feel like I need people to watch. I just love watching people's videos too. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna go drive to Coachella right now since it is Thursday and um, everyone's waiting on me, so gotta go. Hi guys, I know okay. I haven't vlogged, here, but today's Friday, day one of Coachella, weekend one, and okay. I'm going on this bike shuttle thing. Oh! I have unicorn hair. I didn't do anything with it today because it's day two. One. I'm, no, it's day two hair. Day one oh, festival. Got it. Intros are literally the worst for me because I don't know what to say. What do I say? Tell me what I say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. What's up, guys? I am back with another tutorial. Hey, guys, I am back with another tutorial. What's up, guys? I am back with another tutorial. What's up, guys? I am back.